Yay, Baba friends. We are speaking with Etzion Becker today, uh, 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 Friday, April 5th. And and he, there, Etzion, the floor is yours. <clears throat> I sent you a few links uh, to share. <clears throat> I was because not able to open the, I opened the first one and I, I can get that, uh, but the others I was not able to. So I'm asking, uh, but you can open them, Etzion, and share them. I believe you can open them, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, I have a, we had the difficulty with my computer last week. Oh, and really? We are communicating now for my telephone. Oh, uh, I <laughs> I think the communication is better through the telephone and uh, the picture also looks better and I don't need the earphones. I was not, okay. Let me get your, the one. I was able to get the one. And where am I? It's, you know, I'm sorry, let me search for it. And folks, another Mayor Seppis meeting tonight. Oh, what's the subject? Um, the subject? Well, a variety of In things. You didn't get an invite from them? You're not on their list? I guess I'm not. Well, oh. maybe, no, I take I'll, it. I take I'll, for, it. I'll forward you both. You know, okay, I do get, I I do get there. I guess I, I just kind of pass over it. Uh, sorry, that's, I, 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 I get, I have information from that, Susan, it's okay. What meeting is that tonight? Could you tell me, please? Yes, where are you going from? Wow. From, well, Baba, from huh? upstate New York in oh. pastoral green country. <laughs> okay. Hi, Betty. Hi, it's Has it got lots of trees? <laughs> uh, well, it does have lots of trees. They're not, you know, filled with leaves at this point. We're still in the winter. Right. But, well, I'm uh, over lots in Massachusetts, of Massachusetts, close to you. Uh, say that again. Where? Oh, I'm over in Massachusetts. Oh, really? Where? So, same, same kind of terrain. Um, outside of Boston, close okay. to Wellesley Newton. Sure. Sure. Uh, my we wife were, and I we were, were talked. Wait, this is being recorded. I don't know whether I should put this on recording. All right. Uh, okay. <laughs> She's in your vicinity, Jeff. <laughs> no, no. I, gotcha. I meant May Herseppa's meeting. Oh, I see. All right. That's right. We, we, we're digressing here. Okay. Uh, Etzion, I am just now putting onto the screen the one file I could uh, get, but the others okay. I was not able to open. Okay. okay, okay, that's, can you enlarge it? Yeah, is that good? You yeah, want I just want to see the drawing. Oh, okay, I'll scroll up. Let's see, sorry. Okay, that's perfect. <clears throat> All right, and, and excuse me, we have a new person, Jeff, <clears throat> is here from New York. Just, I just wanted you to meet Jeff, and he's out of the room at the minute, but he'll he'll be back. Uh, so I think <clears> you, you don't need to wait. I think because there he is, there he is, Jeff. I'm introducing you to Etzion, Etzion, <laughs> Jeff. Shalom, Etzion. Shalom, shalom. <laughs> yeah, we we met over the internet, <laughs> yep. over the Zoom meetings. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> why <clears throat> felt like sharing this diagram? This diagram based on the Baba's descriptions in God Specs. And I made this diagram from the brochure I published during 1983-84, which I started to write in the Samadhi. It's on my website, the name of uh, this uh, little brochure, um, <clears throat> The Story of Mankind. I wrote it in Hebrew. This happened after uh, money didn't agree that I will publish the, book, the first book I wrote, Meher Baba on, on work. Eventually, I was granted permission. This was part of Baba's uh, games. And uh, <clears throat> just a minute, I'll bring the book for a moment. I'll show you just a second. <clears throat> Betty, is it okay if I have breakfast as I'm in class with you all? Oh, I'm glad you're here at all. Yes, in any in any form. Thank you. <laughs> <Not> eating one. <laughs> Been a 
Nice. Very act active morning of many things. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to hear you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. I will be for Huey as well. Yeah. Definitely, it's here and Ansu for sure. Well, I don't know if uh, you see this uh, because you share the screen, but I can show it later. It doesn't matter. Oh, the point is, <clears throat> what uh, these are all Baba stories, and uh, it relates to how the master works. His games behind the veil, which only after many years you start to understand what he really wanted. And uh, because money turned me down, or the trust, of course, there was nothing personal. Uh, Money was my uh, very dear sister. I loved her very much. Love her very much. Very special love between us, etc. But Baba has his own games. He, he likes to bang the heads of his lovers against each other for his own uh, reasons. And uh, what it made me, I didn't complain. I didn't argue with money too much. I did it before. I had to fight for my stance, but it's a different story. I knew I was playing a game. It's <clears throat> Can you yes, ma'am. What, what was the issue about printing the booklet, right? The uh, Mayor Baba on War. I mean, I don't know if Jeff knows about that. I, I... Yeah, I spoke about this in one of my first uh, sessions. That the very first book I made after I got the library from Kerry, and maybe each uh, session we're speaking about Kerry and we speak about her again uh, this evening because we have to clarify a few issues. The people might get uh, misunderstandings because uh, what I said or was it can uh, sense from what was behind. You have to be careful not to judge what appears uh, obvious to our eyes because when we deal with the master, we have to be very careful. There is something behind the veil always. And we have to wait and don't jump to conclusions. The point was, while I was, uh, it was the first thing I did. <clears throat> I got the library from Baba. Uh, by the way, I sent you the, the, the yes, the disc on key. You will get it uh, in a few days, in a registered letter. And then you'll see all this uh, treasure which I got from Kerry. I scanned everything on high, very high resolution. Like each paper is about 60 megabytes. So you can uh, magnify it uh, 20 times and it will not even start to be pixelated. So is it for posterity? Somebody wants to investigate the nature of the papers and he can do it, <laughs> etc. Okay. Then what happened? I got the library from Curry. In the beginning, I, I didn't want to get involved with the libraries and centers, etc. I, I said quite frankly, that I told Baba that uh, I don't want to replace Curry. She either he'll find somebody else or she can stay in Jerusalem forever and I will be her servant forever, etc. I didn't want to get involved with uh, spirituality and spiritual people. I was uh, already about 79, 80 tired of all this uh, spirituality. <laughs> but it had nothing to do with my, my dedication to Baba, of course. That was this is true. Two different things. Anyway, I got the center and I got the, uh, the feeling from Baba, <clears throat> do something about this, do something and I didn't you know what to do, what I am, uh, I, I don't know. I'm not a spiritual person, I'm not a, a spiritual teacher, I'm not a spiritually advanced, I don't know anything, but but the, all the time this wave kept on bouncing, do something, do something, do something. Then one day I just picked up uh, a booklet from uh, the library. I made it at home, a library. It was a, a full wall full of uh, Baba books, a large amount of Baba books, a whole library. And it was Mer Baba on War. I said, well, uh, I'm a, uh, I have been a soldier in the military, in the Israeli army, as it is being obliged by all of us. Or uh, most... Uh, suitable uh, men who are capable of fighting and also women. And I say, Mayor Baba on war, this, this, we are suffering from war nonstop. And maybe it will, uh, it will be some help or answer for the public that nobody understands. Uh, you know, nobody wants wars, of course. Well, we are crazy. He wants, uh, everybody wants peace, wants to live uh, together. <clears throat> 
but this is a situation. So I translated the book and uh, it took me two weeks. That was my very first translation of uh, any kind of book. And by the time I finished it, it was midnight. And uh, I had this uh, unusual uh, phenomenon that uh, hands were holding my, my, I felt some invisible hands holding my hands. This happened before in the past. If you had all kinds of such experiences, but I have never given any importance to something which was unnatural because everything looks to me before Baba as insignificant. Unusual coincidences. Uh, there were all kinds of things which were uh, out of the ordinary. I've never put any spiritual importance to it. But my hands were seized and I wrote uh, uh, was written through me what I called uh, on Israelis or in Ishmaelis so, or uh, the Arabs and uh, the Jews. It's on my website. You can see the articles. Uh, in English section, it is there if somebody wants to read it. Then this is actually a blueprint for making a peace uh, amongst uh, humankind. The, the spiritual people should lead the material people. This is the gist of the whole thing. We should lead the, the we the spiritual people. Should, we are supposed to form a spiritual government on earth, which would lead the humanity out of ignorance towards God. And this, uh, unfortunately, we failed to do. We are not doing it. Well, it, it is not happening. We don't have such a body. We have many religions, spiritual groups. We're not uh, spiritual governments, which has an understanding of how to Erase some scars, etc. Now, this uh, uh, particular sketch, sketch or uh, oh, yeah. diagram, I don't know how I came up with this thing, but this is a simplification of God's picks. I sent it uh, the booklet. I sent the book this booklet later to Mera. Mera was uh, quite. Uh, she sent me a response back, a letter, that uh, she liked the diagram, that we are being born once. On the left side, you can see the night or minus or evil. And then eventually we <clears throat> made this entire circle till we merge with the good godhood, with the super consciousness, etc., the perfect uh, person, the godman. And thus, we traverse the entire uh, <clears throat> sojourn of the soul from uh, non-consciousness to divine consciousness. Uh, this is a goal. Now, what's, what we see <clears throat> above, it is white. Down, it is gray, meaning this is a shadow of creation. This is a physical realm below. And we see these uh, drops. We are entering the uh, spiritual uh, evolution, and the drop is getting larger, and it is also it is constantly black because the full impressions till we reach man, and this is in the middle, the larger, the largest uh, circle. This is the human being, but uh, the conscious the subconsciousness is co completely dark, full of. Uh, impressions due to our movements in uh, creation, which is mainly in ig ignorance. And then if you continue moving to the right, towards the day, then as we can see that the black is diminishing slowly till we, when there's the last stage, when we still on earth, but being merged with the godhood, then you can see that the circle is completely white, and then we go back to God as perfect beings with a perfect consciousness. And what happened to us in humanity since we stopped uh, doing the job of uh, erasing sanskars naturally, we're actually going backwards on the left side, we worshiping the minerals, we actually under the animals. Baba is calling us talking animals. This is a tragedy of humanity, which you can see just from this uh, drawing.
And I still uh, don't remember, uh, I don't remember how much I read of God's specs at that time. I definitely read the discourses many times uh, by then, 81, 82, 83, I read it at least six times, one after another, maybe more, I don't remember. And uh, I looked at it many times, it is quite simple and perfect. In the whole booklet, you can remove it now, from the, yeah. you can stop sharing it because okay. it, it's on my website. Yeah. People will enter the meirbabaisrael.com, go to the English section, and then you can see uh, my computer is on, but I'm uh, not working, uh, communicating with you through my computer. Shall I share then what we have here? You want me to share the website? Here's the website, so the community will see my website. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. You have been there many times. By yeah. Now. It's a very, very good website. Thank you. Okay. Right. You, English? It, you scroll it up a little bit and it enters the English first. Okay. When you enter the English, you, you see articles, letters, and photos. Go down to the photos. Click on the photos. Okay. <laughs> These are the photos of money. Beautiful. That's a whole big, uh, that's a whole big Baba story. This for this incredible photos I took a few months before she passed away. Really? And this is the oh. Mehrazad porch. The Mandali were really. The, the top one to the left was placed on uh, Mani's bed for uh, for quite some time. And I saw prints of this. I, I gave, of course, uh, the disc to the Merazad people, to Casey Cook and uh, others. And I saw prints of uh, these pictures uh, everywhere in uh, Merabad. So people enjoy it. Oh, absolutely. And this is this is a unique Baba story by itself, but uh, I just wanted to share it. So can, go back. Can you tell the story? It's, it's fast. It's, well, yeah, but uh, <laughs> it'll be for the next for the next time or later on. I have a few stories to share before that. Okay. It's, so go go back to where uh, English. Go back to articles. Okay. We have uh, articles. Mm, what I wanted to share. Can you scroll up a little bit? Yeah. I see the Upasni. I don't. I don't see everything. I see the Upasni. Here's the Upasni. Oh, you no, don't. Can see... you scroll up a little bit? More. Just a minute. Let me see it. Um, you, here you can see on Israelis and Arabs, this what I was written through my person. And uh, the story of mankind. Stop, stop, stop. Click on st the story of mankind. And actually, I, uh, I didn't share it properly as a PDF, so forget about this. People have to download it to the computer and open it. It's, it's in a zip. So just uh, forget it. It doesn't matter. People uh, saw the website. You can see that there is a Meir Baba Israel website with all kinds of material, uh, articles, uh, stories. Uh, <clears throat> of course, we have a Hebrew material, etc. Uh -huh. So uh, you actually can close it for the time. Right. And I'll continue with my story. Oh, close this. You can close it, don't need to share. Well, the book the book which I published is the uh, which you just saw it. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. Right. I have maybe that. Send, maybe said, I should send you have it? I, you I'll said send. a while ago. Yeah. It's on my website, but I'll, uh -huh. maybe I should send you a copy. No, I have a copy. Shall I get it? I have it. I have it. 
book. You have the book? Yes, you sent it. How did that happen? It was, yeah, you sent it. Uh-huh. I sent you a few Bible books maybe in the past. Yeah. Okay. I so actually have it. Wonderful. I do. Mm. What happened with uh, all these uh, stories, that when money turned me down, I realized that actually I should take responsibility and not to be dependent on anyone and start writing by myself, what I understand. So I went to uh, the Samadhi and I was sitting there, 83, end of 82, beginning of 83. It was still uh, permitted to sit in the Samadhi and uh, write. Today, I think it's not permitted. I don't know what is permitted there anymore. You just pass by and look inside and that's it, I believe. I have no idea. Maybe they, still let you, maybe they still let you, maybe they allow you to sit inside or maybe not. I have no idea what's going on there. During the, during the COVID, it was not allowed. And I was quite puzzled because I think it's totally the opposite. If you have COVID, you should go to the somebody. <laughs> that's a place to get cured. Surely you just you give it to everybody else. Anyway, I went to Samadhi and I wrote this booklet and this was the first time, the first time, of course, I was writing uh, this uh, little article as, as uh, Baba inspired me to write or he was writing it uh, through my person, whatever you like it. But the gist of this uh, article, that the Arabs and the, and the Israelis <clears throat> from already 3,000 years ago were, so, were supposed to form in one uh, a body is a organ in the human body, which uh, it was described as the two chambers of the heart. And it's a very nice expression to say that the Jews and Arabs are supposed to be like the two chambers of the heart. And this came by Baba's inspiration. And it didn't come from him. This thing uh, doesn't know anything. <laughs> broken heart these days. That's too bad. <laughs> what too bad? We are. Each, we were supposed to be two yeah. of us, is a, what we call the so-called Israelis and so-called Arabs. We should be each one of them uh, like a chamber of the heart. We were, we were supposed to create the heart of humanity. This is not the situation today, unfortunately. Yeah. But this this was the uh, idea. This was the blueprint. And uh, actually what it says, that the spiritual people and the physical people should work together and uh, form the body of uh, the healing uh, healing humanity and not uh, fighting between themselves. So the, this is uh, this little story about uh, this. And uh, if you enter my website, I wanted to go to Kerry Ben Shammai. Okay. You're in the website, please. Okay. Share, just a minute. Uh, let's see, now, what Scroll next? up a little bit. So click on Kerry Ben Shammai, part one. Then we'll watch her uh, video a little bit and we'll see her a little bit. We just, uh, just for a couple of minutes. Okay. See if it opens up. It's if, here. It is. Click on the, the arrow. Sorry, my computer is slow. It'll get there. It's okay. Yeah, it, it's okay. It's coming. Just for a few more moments uh, to watch Kerry in uh, live. Take some time. Here it is, it's coming. This came from uh, Pete Townsend Archive. And I remember nights, two, three o'clock, coming all on my own on the subways, thinking what will he lead me to? Not knowing consciously of Barbara yet. When this Hungarian lady phoned to me one day, I'd been only a few weeks in New York. It was also new and strange to me. Telling me, Carrie, there's a master from Inter coming. His name is Mayor Bab. 
So I said in my heart, who knows? He may be the one I've been looking for for ages on end. This is a young Martin Cook. So she gave me the address. I said, where can I get the material of him, of his teachings? That was a few months before Bob was supposed to come to the States. For a few days to New York and then on to Myrtle Beach. He was supposed to stay only for a few weeks, actually, in uh, New York. But when I heard that Barbara was coming, I told my husband, I'm not going back until I was going to meet Barbara. But he had to go back for his work and also wasn't interested and ready to meet Barbara. So immediately I contacted Winterfels. I remember the first meeting we sat there. And they told me something of Barbara. I went to their bookcase. A truth immediately the discourse. The moment I looked at the discourse, I realized this had been the end of my search. This was my master. And then I had worked with mentally sick, especially young girls in a special clinic. The video was taken in the boathouse. Languaging their around on psychoanalysis, not getting better. I used to tell them of the love only love. In London. But they did become better. That was before I had known of Barbara. But now having Barbara material with me, I gave them also some Barbara material. There was one girl, she'd been shut in the inner department because she was a noisy. And there was no hope to bring her to Barb. We were given just two minutes among the 10 million citizens. There were about a thousand Americans were allowed to see Barbara for a few minutes. And I, as the only one from Israel, was also allowed for two minutes to see Barbara. And they started to ask as soon as... You want to continue or stop it? People can watch it, uh, enter the website and watch it. She was placed also on the Anthony Zwa, where Baba travels. This is the third link. If you click on the third link, after uh, this, you clicked on the first link. If you go click on the third, you will enter the website of Anthony Zwa, Mayor Baba Travels. You see this? I don't hear you. I don't hear you. My, my oh, okay. Uh, now I hear you. Okay. You, you were to, muted. You want me to show the website? Click on the website? third link. Oh, okay. I'm going to. Okay. Kerry Ben Shemai, click on the third link, please. Kerry Ben Shemai, you enter Kerry Ben Shemai. Let's go back to. Oh, this is not so. It's not the website. See, uh, no, <laughs> it's not. Here, let me, let me find it again. Here, right? <laughs> It's not crucial, you know. Since we're recording it, I felt like uh, keeping it in the record. I don't know what it, what is going to be later on with all these recordings, but uh, we keep it also as a memorial for Baba's work in Israel. All right. So let me uh, mute my dog. I've found it, and I'll get this heard. Maybe you should keep as a website. Um, I keep the link. Here you are. Third one. The third one. Go down. This one. That's it. You see? These are Mayor Baba Travels, and this is a special page of Kerry Ben Shammai. Just scroll it up so people can view it. The Delmonico Hotel, first time she met him. Yeah. Keep on scrolling it a little bit. This is a picture I took of her at the home in 1982. She looks uh, very good here. Yeah. 
This is Mayor Center, 1956. She's at the, to the very left. She's at the very left. This is Kerry. So the, all the material I could have collected about Kerry, I think most of it is on the website, of course, not the archive, because the archive is 17 giga. When you, you'll get the disk, you'll see what there is. So this is all Kerry uh, going to Myrtle Beach with Baba. Baba asked, uh, instructed Adele working to collect money so Kerry can come to Myrtle Beach and spend the time there. And people contributed. Kerry here with a red dress. You see, she's standing with a red dress. This is Kerry. Mm -hmm. 56, she was quite young, and I believe she was uh, quite an attractive woman in her youth. And what we can see, uh, one of the reasons I want to share it, that because some of the words were spoken about Kerry is that uh, it was said that she was called by the staff of the home that she is crazy and she locked her in a room. And uh, that was the impression of the family. I got uh, such reverberations from her own family. I went to interview uh, family members from her uh, uh, in Israel and even called the uh, <clears throat> Uh, the grandson uh, of her uh, great father. And I spoke with him. I called him to the United States. I wanted to interview him. And so we spoke with him sometime over the telephone. Because he, he printed, he published a book about his uh, great father, the father of Kerry in English. <laughs> so this is, uh, you see, I have lots of material here. This is a story I wrote about Kerry Ben Shammai. You can keep on scrolling it up. We read it. This is myself with Kerry in the home in 1982. I took this picture. That uh, I used to look like this 90, 40 years ago. <laughs> well, I guess we started as uh, young babies and eventually we go old. Well, that's the way it goes. She looks quite happy and uh, radiant here. Yeah. But uh, working with her, her personality was very difficult. She most likely was a general or colonel in Baba's army or in any army. She had all the characteristics of a <laughs> high-ranking officer in the army. The way <laughs> she was uh, treating others with uh -huh. demanding and domineering, she was very tough. And since I was was serving before that in one of the toughest units of the Israeli army, is again Delmonic Hotel, and then the, you will see the again what we saw the video, so people can watch the video. So she has a special. Uh, there is another video which I don't see it on my website by Irwin Luck. Mm -hmm. Maybe you will scroll down, you will see the next video. This is the video of Pete Townsend. That's it, that's the end of the page. There is another video tape. I think it's colored, it's not here. Mm -hmm. It's not here. Never mind. So this is uh, Baba's uh, disciple in Israel. Yeah, that's that's what it is. You can close it now. If some if people want to watch and read it, they can enter the, this web page. So my web uh, site. <clears throat> this is Harry Kenmore standing next to her. She's yes, here. yes. And here she wants to fall in the candle and they be burnt. And you can see all her posture and all her uh, uh, body language that she wants to <clears throat> devote herself to Baba, and uh, she was totally taken by him. He put a spell on her, and that was it. 
<laughs> he doesn't do it, or he didn't do it all the time, but uh, there were quite uh, rare cases which he did, and when he did, there's no way out, and that's it. <laughs> you cannot escape it. That's more or less what he did to me, but I don't think it's such a magnitude as what he did to Kerry, because uh, she almost uh, became a, a, a master knight. Uh, but she was not. She was close to this, and I am not. <laughs> I'm just an ordinary human, but she she was not an ordinary human. That's quite 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 true. That's okay. Okay. If you can. Uh... Okay, if you want to watch it, you keep keep on watching it, enjoy it, that's okay. But the point I wanted to share about my, myself and Curry, that uh, right from the start, 1972, when I met her at, at her home, I had an immediate experience. Uh, Mayor Baba is, is the highest of the high. I had a a very strong experience of divine love, which I have never explained before. I didn't know actually before that what love is. <laughs> I was living in a world uh, which was devoid of love. And the, is there the people like you or not? It was a very house uh, place. There's non-stop wars and all of us, most of us were refugees or so we escaped from, from wars and pogroms, etc. And uh, our neighbors uh, didn't uh, allow us any moment of peace. For whatever reason, it doesn't matter whom. To, I'm not blaming anyone, not either side. It's not the issue. The issue was that this uh, place, what we call Israel, is in a state of war the past 100 years. It didn't start uh, in 48 or 47. And it doesn't matter who is responsible. We are not, you don't want to get into it because like getting involved with politics and the uh, hatreds and complaints, which some people succumb to. And if you will read uh, my website, you will see the mayor's letters. And one letter she sent me in 1981, she gives me an order, not to get, don't get involved with politics. Yeah. And I have seen many people who, who are bubble lovers, who are getting involved with politics, and they criticize, they judge politicians, but the truth is that we have no idea whatsoever what is behind the veil. And we have the good story of Baba and the World War II and Hitler and the Mandalay complaining about Hitler, how bad he is, etc. And Baba listened for it. It's an Lord Mayor. Baba listened for it for some time instead of told them that they have no idea whatsoever what's going on. And they're actually talking nonsense. Mm -hmm. What was, to my understanding, because Baba... Sent, in this life, I have been to many, many wars. The Baba gave me very strong lessons. The wiser wars, the nature of wars, uh, the in and out. And uh, I'm just an ordinary human being. The way Baba teaches is not by book reading and by direct experience. So for his own reasons, he wanted that we have a, a thorough understanding of the in and outs of worlds is the reason for all and how God is using it to uplift humanity. So I had to go to many, many wars in this lifespan. Altogether, I spent 27 years in the military and the security services, etc., from 18 till 45. And most of the time in the, in the field, in combat, many times under fire, etc., I've seen all kinds of things human beings uh, usually don't see. I mean, you also don't see it. It's unbelievable what we are doing to each other. And, uh, yes, ma'am. I just need to be, I need to go tend to something just for a minute. I need to, so I, excuse so me. I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you. Okay. Yes, yes. Wait for you. Are you, my dear? Etienne, why don't you say again that time when Mara came into the room? Uh, I, <laughs> I love hearing that. I just love it. I say it. It's 
It's so beautiful. You know, yeah, I, I love Mera. I just love Mera. This is the highlight, highlight of my visit to Mera. But enter Baba's room, sitting in the corner, watching all these guys <laughs> bowing to a chair and kissing a pillow. And uh, he looked to me very, very strange. I knew that Baba is an avatar. I had this experience. But I didn't understand all this. I, it was the first time I was in India, 1979. I brought Kerry to Mehrabad. And then we went to, we stayed at Vilus. We got a cabin there. And uh, from there, we used to take the bus and spend all day in Mehrabad. That was my uh, days, you know. We had a packed lunch. Uh, it was wonderful the time. Not uh, today, you go there for a couple of hours and they kick yeah. you out. Could spend the whole day. It was a real something. And I was uh, sitting in Baba's room where he dropped his body, not understanding well, what all this is spectacle about. And all of a sudden, you what, know, the, was Car- the other was, side. Was Carrie yes. in the room too? No. No. She was not there. She was, uh, I don't know, she was... Somewhere else. <laughs> I, I came to uh, Ahmed Nagar and I took Kerry and I gave her to the Mandali. I put her in the trust office or something like this and I ran away. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it was a harsh story. She she did everything she c- could to drive me mad. <laughs> uh, she didn't succeed, fortunately. Otherwise, most likely you wouldn't see me because this would be very dis- <laughs> It's pleasing for Baba, and that's another story. I spoke about this in the former sessions. Uh, that uh, actually okay, but, all, but the say, time, say, all the time, all the time, from the very beginning, seventy-two. I realized that Kerry is not a, a simple and easy character, and uh, when I got uh, the Baba experience, it made me a Baba realize, as I call it. And I could sense immediately his uh, full presence. And I would see his face inside myself with this. It came from there and stays there all the time, till now, of course. And I uh, would see his, his facial expression, his facial, facial, the expression of his face tells the whole story. You don't need to say a word. You look at him. He is uh, the ultimate reality, a whole knowledge in his uh, face. So his face <laughs> would tell me, you just dare, you just dare to go on oats with my carry. That was his face say. Yeah. And this was all the time when I would come visit Curry, I would see this face. And this face was give me a sharp warning. You just dare. And I never did anything. And she did her best to drive him in, believe me, or not. And this was, <laughs> only after many years, I understood that this necessary tutorial training, because uh, I myself was not exactly patient, uh, actually, what you call a redhead, impatient person and nervous, and they used to um, go into tantrums. And it was a, a very severe training to stay calm and don't react and be quiet and don't judge. Mm-hmm. Very important, uh, very crucial training. I'm very thankful for this. Mm-hmm. And Baba used Curry. He he was using her as a in the Muppet show to do everything to drive him mad. <laughs> and it, but on the other side, he gave me a morning. You don't get mad for me, Kerry. You did. You watch it. You don't dare. You see, it was how he's banging the heads of his lovers. He was, he was using her to train me because I had to eventually to take some spiritual responsibility. And when you deal with spiritual people, this is quite challenging because they're very judgmental. They think that they know. They think they know the truth. And mostly it is only a book knowledge and not a real experience. <laughs> Till I become a real disciple, Baba gave me training as if uh, it was, uh, for me, it was, he was in the physical flesh, literally. I felt him, his physical presence. 
definitely this was the 70s and the 80s. But, but that's how you, so I you came didn't, to you this, didn't, uh, you didn't came to Mer Baba, 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 yes, you want Russian in the room. You didn't yes, finish. yes, yes, I'm coming to this because okay. I had to uh, explain all this before uh, what came, how the whole thing transpired. So I'm sitting in Baba's room in Mera's heart where he dropped the body opposite Mera's door and wondering about all this bizarre spectacle people are going to a chair. Even I knew the Baba is. Uh, is God in human form. I had this experience. All of a sudden, the, the door of Mera flunged open rapidly, shit like this, and she stormed directly. Stormed directly. Only, why don't you take Baba's darshan? And I instantly I complied. My head was instantly into the Baba's field. But how did she know? How did she know? This is incredible. <laughs> because she went direct to me and there were more people. I was not the only one in the room. And how did she know that I didn't take the Baba's darshan at all? Well, how did she know this? <laughs> because she was not God realized. Baba didn't uh, give them any. Nobody was, uh, we know he didn't give her. Uh, sometimes she, she, but often she knew things which were out of the ordinary. Yeah. There's no question about this. And I had all kinds of uh, 82, 83. She had uh, some very special encounters with uh, Mera. And she told me something in person in front of everybody, which uh, I don't think like sharing that, uh, but the, the essence of it is that uh, she told me that Baba has some, have something very special with Baba, very special uh, connection. That's what she said in front of everybody, for whatever reason. About you? And, uh, she said yeah, they, 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 towards my person. And uh, I was quite uh, overwhelmed, and they had to take me away. It was, uh, it was very powerful. In, in words, she said something. It was uh, very encouraging, most likely. Baba wanted uh, to give me some encouragement for very hard times to come. Living here, uh, and uh, I, have, I have been dealing with uh, very severe patterns of uh, karma and uh, <clears throat> some scars. Actually, Baba, I, I told you in the former sessions, after I surrendered to Baba, I surrendered it presumably in such a way that I opened the door for his uh, instructions and directives unconditionally. Whatsoever is needed is needed. If I have whatsoever I have to do for him, and this is going to be my last uh, action on earth, well, it, whatever it is, well, no problem. And he was using uh, the words training this respect is that I was receiving instructions and orders and uh, it was not simple. I simply don't want to get into these details too much going to wars and under Baba's directives. It's not so simple. But if you're dedicated and, uh, and you have to go, you have to go all the way through. This is not a joke, this is not a game. It's not some kind of an entertainment that you, you're coming to him to feel good. That was like a, quite an extreme uh, training, what he gave me in this life. And he expected me to, to, to undergo extreme hardships with, and learn to be cheerful at the same time, like, just like now. I'm uh, inside the extremely complicated, difficult situation for the whole country, and I don't think you... Witness it so much. I learned to work on it. It's not supposed to affect uh, our person, my person. And if it, if I'm not being affected and I keep the good mood centered on the beloved and not get, not get distracted and upset by the situation, but that's a great help of uh, all the people who suffer. Actually, it trained me how to enfold the people who are suffering during war and uplift them because they don't have communication connection with him. 
and he explained it to me. I'm telling you uh, as if I was next to him getting his instructions how to do spiritual work. And uh, the gist of this, he cannot help people who are not who didn't surrender to him because otherwise he will interfere with their free will, which is a sacred uh, uh, law in the creation. Unless, until and unless you surrender to him and surrender fully without a motive, he cannot in, uh, direct and interfere in your life. And if you come to him, is a surrender with expect expectations that you will not be born again, or will you get good realization, or get a, a nice uh, salary, or whatever it is? Uh, the people you would come to him with expectations and say, "Don't come to him with expectations, since I didn't come with any expectations." That's why Pozumi opens the door for his directives. So he told me because of this. I understood it uh, in retrospect after many years. What I'm telling you, it took me decades to understand. It took more than 20 years just to get a glimpse of what it is. And the, the bottom line is he cannot help those who don't surrender to him. He helps them secretly behind the veil. This he does for the entire humanity. But to help them directly, he can uh, use my person since I'm connected with millions of people. Let's say daily I'm meshing with uh, what you call uh, Jews and Arabs. I'm working with them, sharing with them on project sites in the street. I live in a mixed neighborhood. And I'm, I have been dealing daily with the endless, uh, very vast panorama of human beings, and not only human beings, of course. And because of my connection with him, over the years, the mechanism was built inside myself. So I take all, all these scars, all these people, and I give it to him. And because I give it to him, then he can work on them. You understand? This is our role as Bible lovers. It's our role to give the world to him. Those who cannot come to him because they don't know him, they don't need to be convinced about his divinity. But since we have the experience, we can take these people and place them before the Lord, and then he can work on, on their soul scars. And this is work. This is uh, this what I have been doing since 1976. Uh, uh, I remember this date when I started to work on it. <coughs> and Baba started to give me personal tutorials for 15 years, daily tutorials, how to deal with some scars, what to do with it. Because uh, you get enmeshed. This, this is actually a dangerous business. You can get uh, into complications. And uh, the, I got into complications. He kept on taking me out. Baba puts you in complications, and he takes you out. There's no problem. And uh, if you won't do this, you won't be talking to me today. <laughs> Plain and simple. If, I, if you're talking to me, I'm a. Uh, and there's evidence that he is whatever he is, and he is capable of doing everything. And it doesn't mean that uh, my life is uh, honey. <laughs> Actually, it's a very thorny path. But you see, I, I take it. I learned to take it uh, because uh, I understood the most severe and, and difficult and the training, the lifespan is the better for you. So if your life lifespan is, uh, I'm not saying that we have to sit uh, uh, on bed uh, full of rusty nails. <laughs> this is stupid, of course. But uh, if we if we receive hardships, we should be grateful because it cleans our. Uh, he wants us to be to come back to him, washed, clean, speak and span, and, uh, and then we can start to do the real work and have his real friendship. And this is worth all the suffering in the universe to have his friendship. Because he is the rest of the night. That's, That's yeah. my direct experience. Yes, ma'am. Well, back to Carrie. Uh, you, Carrie, Ben Chennai, Shemai, you said, you said that she uh, she was the kind of person who never listened. She didn't listen. She always talked, 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 talked. Yes, right? yes. Non-stop chattering. <laughs> and also you said that she didn't really understand that you were a Baba lover. Oh, she... Because I have never told her, because she never uh, let me talk. I, I was never saying anything. I was only, she was only talking and I was only listening. Uh, 
and then you do what she wanted you to do. Yeah. I was and, perfectly obedient. Whatsoever she said, I was uh, performing. I was their personal uh, attendance or servant, complete servant for a full year. And I was very cheerful and very grateful. Baba didn't give me any orders to do it. It was so, so obvious I have to do it. That, that he, there was no need to receive any impulse for him to take care of Kerry. I, to, I just did it because I knew that, that I am there and this is my role. There was no question about this. <laughs> but, I didn't want to get, but the other thing was I didn't want to get involved with the center. This I told him, ah, yeah, you want me to take care of Kerry? It's no problem. I'll take care of Kerry for the next 20 years. But I'm not going to deal with any centers and spiritual people and this and that. This was 79. But he is clever, and he was waiting, and I told you this, uh, for three weeks, <laughs> her son-in-law uh, was looking for a home for her all over Israel, and he didn't succeed, and then I realized that that is quite stupid, what uh, I am here to serve Baba, this is my life. <laughs> so I told him, so I tell Baba, okay, I'm doing it, I'll, I'll, I'll do this center thing, and right away, right away, as soon as I told Baba, yes, I'm doing it, at that time, he found her son-in-law found a place, and within three days, oh my gosh. everything transferred to me. The center transferred to me. She went to a home, that temporary home. We you received the a letter. The is what was his name? Busfield. What's oh. the other guy who met her there? Tim Busfield. Uh, Tim Busfield. Yeah. In, yeah. In yeah. A mostly distressed. She was very distressed. Extremely distressed. Uh, very emotionally unstable and upset, but I knew how to deal with her at that time uh, cheerfully, which is was crucially important to deal with her in, in actually any person who in such a distress with a good mood. And uh, it was uh, 82, 80, 80 to 86. I was quite fresh in spirituality. I, it, 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 understand 72 I coming to Baba and I, I was a blank page I had no idea whatsoever about anything nothing I was not a spiritual person at all I just started uh, to attend meetings in a spiritual group and I didn't uh, have a clue whatsoever what they're talking about just in the inside myself I had the impulse to stay in the group keep on staying there from this group I was sent to carry very strange the way Baba is walking very strange and I have that, led that note. It's just a note. It's a paragraph from Tim. Shall I read it? He describes yes. it. Yeah. Read it again. Yes, why not? Tim Busfield now says, I met Carrie in Israel in 1980. She was in a desperate state. I was touring Israel and other countries with a play. I told Kitty Davy I was going to be in Jerusalem, and she told me to where to find her. Not easy. I called the numbers and the people who answered wouldn't tell me where she was. Then someone called and inquired if I was the American looking for Karen. When I told them I was, they sent me to a remote part of the city. There I found what seemed to be a nursing home or hospital of some sort. The people there told me that she was crazy and could not have company. When I forced the management to let me see her, they led me to a locked door with one room. Then when I entered and told her that Kitty Davy sent me, she broke down in tears at my legs and thanked Baba over and over again. We spent many hours together and she sent me on my way. This is Tim Busfield. <clears throat> I visited of course, here, of course, in that place. And, uh, but what happened? At last, uh, she got uh, a real professional Baba lovers. And this guy was next to her all the time, and he took her uh, all her library and sent her. It's not a professional library. And there is another, another letter, <laughs> which I didn't share with you. I have to find it, which is sent to Max Siebert in Cincinnati. Max Siebert uh, spent a couple of years, a few years in the 70s, studying in a... <laughs> bar -Ilan University, which is uh, next to Tel Aviv. He studied this social work, if I'm not wrong, in Israel. There I met him. And she requested uh, Max 
to open the uh, fund, financial fund, an account, in order to publish the Hebrew dis the translation of the Hebrew discourses. And uh, I kept sharing with him uh, many years till 2002. In 2002, we had a uh, we traveled myself and my wife to the United States and I spent a few days with him. And after this, uh, I don't have any communication with him whatsoever. He doesn't want to communicate any longer. Close the fund. The fund raises some money, helped me to, um, I think I sent you the, one of the updates speaking about this all together. I received from Baba Lovers $11,000. It was written and spent at least twice or three times more on Baba's work in Israel <clears throat> between the $25,000 or $35,000 would have bought an apartment for this, but this is Baba work. We have to do this. Whatsoever is coming to this, it's none of our business. And uh, I didn't expect anything, so I don't care. <laughs> The consequences, um, he's the, the boss. I'm not the awakener. The boss decides what needs to be. And uh, we do whatever we do. That's uh, that's what it is. So and, you, uh, just, uh, yes? you, you who did not want to get involved with centers, are now the no. one person in Israel who has any kind of, uh, you have the archive. You no, I, I, do, I do the whole thing, of course. When I take a, a job on me, I do it with the full heart, of course. It's no, I'm not half a heart. Either I do something or I'm not doing something. And uh, actually, I've been doing uh, quite a lot of work. I, I've been writing uh, a <clears throat> few hundreds of articles and a few books I wrote and translated. Uh, and I have been doing other work for the other <clears throat> spiritual communities. I have been dealing with spiritual people all the time. But I learned how to work with all this without getting uh, into emotional uh, conflicts or mental uh, tantrums and all this. You know what's happening with us. We're getting upset. We start to shout and uh, argue with each other. I learned how, how to evade all this because I was trained for this. I was trained by Carrie for 72 till, uh, till she passed away, 14 years. That was quite a severe training. And, uh, never to react to her uh, constant scoldings. You will see the update, uh, a few, I sent you a few updates. Okay. Uh, you will see it on the disk on key, and I think I sent you by mail, but it doesn't matter. You will, you will receive so much material for the next uh, 50, uh -huh. 50, um, 50, 100 meetings. Etienne, really, um, that material, you, I don't know if you want to send again or I can copy. It should go to the Mac that's called the Meher Archive Collective. It's a new archive in North Carolina. I sent you in the email. I showed, sent you their website. They are collecting all kind, all the material that they can, Baba material. It's a new one. I sent, I sent my disc to Debbie Nordin. I think she's in oh, charge of this, no? It. Okay. Oh, she has it then. Okay. But I gave it to, I don't know if she has it now, because I gave it to her in Meher Abad. She had a, a meeting room in Meherabad for pilgrims to come and uh, look at materials. They had uh, their own uh, special room, which they set, she and Peter, somewhere in the uh, lower Meherabad. I don't remember where was it, one of the places. Uh, there was a computer room, and I think not far, or maybe inside the PC. I don't remember exactly now. But uh, this is not over there. I, actually, I can ask Debbie. Debbie yeah. is very active with all these things. If she wants me, I can send, send them a, a collection of books and uh, articles, and uh, I can send her a copy of the archive. Well, it's very interesting. You will, when you will receive the disc, in, I believe in a few days, uh, you will open it and you will relish over all this uh, incredible material. Right. Just, Im just imagine if I wouldn't be there on time, her son-in-law, when I came to take the Baba Center, he told me 15 minutes to get it out or I throw it to the, from the window down to the street. It's all uh, wow. 
some material about the person who calls himself a godman. This is a complete, uh, uh, the worst uh, type of, uh, how you call it, heresy here. Uh, yeah. Uh... It, it's totally against the religion. Eh? We human beings can call ourselves gods. The, the truth is, uh, even the Torah speaking about this, <coughs> about this, uh, excuse me. Uh -huh. I have been uh, writing an article, made a quite research about uh, Genesis and Exodus, the book, the books of Moses. Uh -huh. Moses wrote traditionally the five books of the Pentateuch, and the while I was in Mehrabat, I think it was uh, 2005 or six. I met with uh, now Sherman Anzar, and he requested me to write an article about Israel or Jew. I don't remember. We met together and we spoke about all kinds of things. And of course, I gave him my archive. It was on my computer at that time, and I gave everything to whatever I had uh, for his uh, archive, for his safekeeping, and he liked it, of course, because he's also collecting uh, material. He's his own lavish uh, archive, etc. <clears throat> So he requested me to write a, an article. It's part of it is on my website. If you enter uh, the website, you will see articles, maybe. Uh, I I'm in. I will look in my computer. Articles. Letters would be letters. Probably articles or letters. Okay, just a minute. <clears throat> the keepers, you enter articles. The keepers of the Ten Commandments. Ah, okay. This is uh, the gist. Uh, the just uh, a few twenty, thirty pages of what I started to write in Mirabad. What happened in Mirabad at that time? I was after, uh, I don't remember exactly all the details, but I presume after I spoke with uh, now Sherwin, who used to nickname me Nosh, then I was strolling in Merabat. I used to walk there from, uh, it was in the, already in the NPR. It was fun uh, making a daily tour to Lower Merabad. Uh, I love to walk. I have no problem walking a few hours every day. It's quite enjoyable walking at Baba's place. Yeah. <laughs> Wherever I go, I smell his presence. <laughs> Enjoy the dust of Merabad. We inhale the, the smells of Baba was everywhere. And the... Uh, <clears throat> I got a, in a way, I got a vision of the first uh, word of Genesis, which is wrongly translated in the beginning. But the very first word is, I'm trying to explain it. I'll open uh, this, uh, just a minute. <clears throat> While I'm, I'm talking to you through the telephone, but uh, oh. on the other side, I'm having my uh, computer. <laughs> As you can see it. Yeah, I can find it if you tell me where to go. <laughs> you go to articles. You enter articles. Uh -huh. if, as soon as you enter articles, you see the first line, the keepers of the Ten Commandments. Yes. Okay. All right. So why okay. don't you share it? I'll share Remind it. Then, then share it. I think we need to cut it off so we have some little break before Huey comes on in, in half an hour. But let, I'll find this. I'm looking at it. An introduction, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, just for a couple of minutes, just to look at it. Yeah. 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 And so and, you're saying that we're in the beginning was not proper a proper translation, is what you're saying? Nobody, it's not possible to translate the Hebrew language at all. <clears throat> and here, if you will read it later on. Yeah. Uh -huh. I think I'm trying to give it. <clears throat> you can read this article because uh, okay. usually my articles are. Uh, 
Oh, here we go. I see it. I've got it. Listen to the sound of burr. Uh, yes, exactly. Process. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, but in Hebrew, it is said, Bereshit bara Elohim et ha-shamayim ve-et ha-aretz. In Hebrew, there are seven worlds. And if you understand these seven worlds, these seven worlds contain all the knowledge in the creation. Oh, my goodness. This is Hebrew language. <laughs> to, to understand this sentence, you need to be a very advanced soul. Then you don't need to read any more anything else. The whole knowledge is being contained in one in the one uh, line. But you need to know how to read it because the first word is Bereshit. Bereshit, what I saw it, it is a big bang. It's oh. something, you see me? I don't know if you see me, see but yeah, yeah. I experienced the world. Uh, maybe you can close it. I can show the people my experience. Okay. Experience Baba gave me. Yeah. If you see me, if you see me, then it's a bit hard to explain it like this, but as if it's a process of you wake up, be, we have two words. One word, one letter we can say with closed mouth, which is mm, M, and, and another word which you can, letter we can express is B, and B. Your mouth is, starts to open, then you can say B, just start to open it. And then comes a something like this. But I saw it like a big bang. There's all an explosion. That the Bereshit is the explosions of oneness to manyness. That's yeah. the meaning of, of this first world. And it's not in the beginning. Because this is a process which is happening continuously yeah. in the creation. It's yeah. not a one-time experience. Yeah. The process of uh, it's a process which never comes to an end as long as the creation exists. Oh, this and is then, cool. uh, <laughs> That's and cool. then what it is, which is not, you don't see it in English. <coughs> Sorry, it's written bara Elohim. Bara in Hebrew we have singular and plural. It should be written baru. You don't have such things in English. You say yeah. created, creates, you, you can say it in a singular or plural, but in, in Hebrew it sounds very different. And Elohim, Elohim is being written in the plural. It should be written, not God, God's, G-O-D-S. That's a the correct translation because it's written in Hebrew, God's Elohim, God in singular in Hebrew is El, oh, and wow. Elohim is plural. Wow. And here it's said, is the Elohim in plural created in singular? The word create, bara, it should be baru. In Hebrew, the plural for bara is baru. The, the heaven and the earth, the shamayim in the hearts. And then comes a word, a connecting word at E and T. This is only in Hebrew. And this uh, little word, two letters, it is the first letter of the Hebrew alphabet and the last letter. That's the beginning and the end. It denotes also the full cycle. Also at, is, is, uh, also it signifies I am, ani, ata. Et, ata, you, me, that's wow. what it signifies. So Hebrew language is very deep. It has many endless for every word. The shape of the words are important. What are, could you deep. talk, Etzion, could you talk yeah. about what those, could you please translate what are those first seven words in Bereshis that you spoke of? Mm -hmm. I know yeah. you're talking about them. But what are those seven words? And you can, can you talk a little about those seven words? Yes, sir. In I can give you all said the... It's not the correct translation. It's not in the beginning. I Exactly. You said it's not correct. What What are those seven mm -hmm. words? And what is the seven correct Seven words in Hebrew? In English. First, uh, 
You can see, you read it on our website. If you get into my website articles, and oh, then the- I can the, show the, you. Here, let me show you. I, yeah, let me- uh, I'm I, trying to explain, okay. but what it is, I, I while I was traveling in Meherabad, I experienced the world as a vision inside my mind, not nothing external. But before that, I didn't have any idea what, uh, what it means. But to give it a, a deeper explanation about this, we need a full session. Mm. I don't mind to uh, get into it. It's fun. Maybe, it's next, maybe, next, maybe next Friday you I'd could. I'd be delighted to do it because we're coming to the end and we have to obey the rules of uh, Betty. Yeah. Somebody has to be in charge. You have the moderators. You have the focus. Jeff, this is right here is what you're seeing. Uh, it's in the Arctic, his article. Right, but I, I asked Etzion the question because to hear Etzion's voice, his soul, his intonation, his insight on my question, it's one yes, to read, which I will. But to hear you respond spontaneously, what are those first seven words in Bereshit? <clears throat> Bereshit, Bereshit bara Elohim et hashamayim ve'et ha'aretz. That's the first there. sentence yeah. in of the Torah in Hebrew, and this cannot be translated to any other language. All the translations are wrong. It is not in the beginning. It is a process of creation. In the ones, this one sentence. Whatever Baba wrote in God speaks is has been encapsulated in one sentence. Are you, Seven able, to, words are you, are you able to express the translation as best you can, even though it can't be translated? Is there any way you can impart to us what those yes, seven yes. words in Hebrew That's mean? That's why I'm writing this book. If you will read the article, you will get some understanding of what I'm saying. This whole, this whole, this whole treatise on this, all of this. I, I, I'm writing it, sir. I try to explain, yeah. but if you if you will read this article, yeah. actually I wrote a whole book about Genesis and Exodus in Hebrew, and uh, I'm sharing it with friends of mine in Hebrew as a Zoom meeting on uh, Thursday. It was last e evening, and the, it is unusual. The story, <clears throat> the book of Genesis, is dedicated to the creation of spiritual states. And the book of Exodus is actually a book of initiation. The whole pictures there, the whole stories are para spiritual parables, spiritual, uh, how you call it, um, metaphors, pictures and visions, what's happening to the aspirant who is walking on the path. Very deep and dry lessons for each one who's walking. Whatsoever Baba is saying in God's speaks is there. This I can guarantee because Baba showed it to me. Not the, I'm not so clever. Forget about this. What your I'm Thursday, telling you. Your, your Thursday class, are we able to zoom into your Thursday in class? Hebrew. But this is in Hebrew. Hebrew. Yeah. You have to know Hebrew. Otherwise, I would be delighted. But I don't mind to no, give the. No I don't that, speak good Hebrew. No. No, no, no. But, but we will. Because, talk about yeah. this whole, right? We just pick up from here, Etzion, and talk yeah, about so, and we can meet, uh, if the people who are interested, they can read this article. Yeah. It is, uh, give you some uh, understanding of what I was uh, saying. What is it? The Keepers um, of the Ten Commandments. That's the article. Uh, if you... Read, you can, please I'll write, say, please read this article. It's on my website. It's quite clear here. I can, I'm. Uh, yeah, I'll send you the link, Jeff. Right. I would it. really thank you, Betty. I'll thank you. Right to it. it's so but this is just a portion. I have been translating the, my entire book in Hebrew now to English. I'm, I have been working on the translation. I'm doing the editing now, comparing a Hebrew sentence versus the English sentence for accuracy. This is a big deal. And it'll take uh, some time, and then I will be delighted to share uh, the wow. file with whomsoever wants to read it. It will it sheds a light on the Hebrew Bible, which never was shared before. 
It's, it's all Baba's grace, not because I'm so clever. Uh-huh. I keep on repeating it. No, I'm very serious. No, I have to you say... Me... Yes? Sorry, but you... Uh... In the beginning, God created the earth and the heavens. It's so static. It's like it happened once. <laughs> and what you're saying is it's a continual creation. It's happening all the time. Yeah. Uh, I can make a demonstration. If we want next session. Okay, that's, um, that's interesting. You will get uh, the disc on key by then, I believe. And uh, if uh, the people want to me to share some insights about the <clears throat> the genesis which was dictated to master moses by the avatar uh, wow these books the pentateuch uh, master moses uh, together with the prophet wrote it under the directive of the avatar May Master Moses climbed on Mount uh, Sinai, supposedly, and there he was sitting with the avatar, who presumably Lord Abraham, but was, uh, that's my understanding, but it doesn't matter, representative of the whole Godhood, which is the avatar it, uh, in this instance, and they were uh, uh, considering <clears throat> how to heal humanity. And uh, I wrote uh, that uh, the skit on the Baba and Moses. But what's going on then? <laughs> All right. The, the, the true what story. Time, what, time, what time do you start next Friday, Etzion? What time? 12.45. Uh, 12.45. 12.45, wonderful. The calendar, yeah. I'm amazed at what you're sharing with us from your depth of your soul and your relationship with Baba. I am amazed. Wow. And what you're talking about, I've been waiting a long time, a long time to hear what you're sharing with us. It's so interesting that you're here. And I happen to be fortunate to hear also with Betty and a few other people. So thank you. Thank you, Baba. All right. So, yeah, interesting. Thank you. You're more than welcome. You are a hard worker. Your work is paying off. <laughs> oh, I see. I understand now. <laughs> okay. Thank you. I must go do a few things before Huey. Okay. So maybe see you there. All right. When when Huey is coming, you. In That's half an hour. coming in Just... 20, 20 minutes, he's coming. Yeah. 20 minutes? Yeah. See you yeah. then. Okay. Bye bye. All right. Thank I you. Think I'll just Maybe I Hi, shalom, shalom, it's you. Shalom, Lito. Bye. Bye. It's so dark, I won't even sign off since we'll be coming. See you.